Good evening, sim racing fans, and welcome to Ultimate Dirt TV. Tonight, the Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Weight Model Round Number Two comes to the Lima Land Motorsports Park. Good evening, once again. My name is Brett Wheeler. Thank you for joining us here on this Thursday evening. A little bit of a change in the format from tonight, from what we've seen last week in the season opener at the Volusia Speedway Park, where Eric Keller who picked up the victory after the 50 laps. Can he defend that week one victory and claim victory here from the Lime Lane Motorsports Park? Well, we're going to be going into qualifying here in just under two minutes' time. And then, of course, we're going to move into a couple of heat races. There will be 12 laps in distance. There will be a little bit of a five-minute warm-up session where we'll chat to some of the drivers just in that warm-up session and get their thoughts on the racing and, of course, get their thoughts Going into tonight's main event, of course, another 50 lap main event here this evening for the Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Late Models. Round number two here at the Lime Lane Motorsports Park, of course. Before we go any further, of course, we want to give a big shout out to our wonderful sponsors and partners here at Ultimate Dirt TV. Of course, a big thanks to Wicked Cushion, One Nine Designs, World of Thunder R Racing League, iCore Leagues. JR Productions and Media and Black Diamond Motorsports. Of course, you can find all their social media pages on our website. You can head over to www.ultimatedirttv.com. Click on the Sponsors tab. And also, you can click on the Schedule tab to see what we've got coming up throughout the week. Plenty of sim racing action here to come on Ultimate Dirt TV for your weekly needs. Of course, I want to say a big, a big thank you and give a big shout out to the guys here at Extreme Motorsports. Of course, you can check out their website, extrememotorsports99.com. Check out their Facebook page as well. Give them a like and a follow. And of course, a big thanks to those guys and all the admins behind the scenes here that make everything possible to put on these shows here in the Dirt Late Model site. And of course, they run their cup cars. They run all sorts of asphalt stuff as well so doing lots of things here on the racing.com service and of course we thank you well we thank them so very much for their time the practice session has concluded which means we are going qualifying and i believe we've got 15 drivers signed into the pit area for this evening's racing guys if you haven't done so already make sure you hit the like and follow a like and follow button on our Facebook page, of course. Don't forget to head over to our YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost a thing. And of course, if you're watching on our Twitch channel, hit that follow button. And again, we thank you very much for your support here on Ultimate Dirt TV. Take a look at some of the drivers on the racetrack at the moment. You see the top, well, it'll be the top 20, or well, the top 18 showing on the screen, but only 15 drivers We'll be taking a lap time here at the Lima Land Motorsports Park. Down the bottom left is the driver that we are currently watching. Now, I can tell you these drivers get three laps in qualifying. So if they mess up their first one, they've got two more chances after that one. Jay Place with a 12.646. Justin Sick with a 13.028. Can he improve on this one? He seventh quick with a 13.003. John Alatich in Cut of One rolling out onto the racetrack. Same as Andrew Hawkins. Scott Dobbs, six hit with a 12.752. We'll keep an eye on the number one car of John Alatich. Again, each driver getting three laps around the Lima Land Motorsports Park for the Extreme Motorsports 99.com. Alatich with a 12, 8, 2, 5, 2 tenths off the pace at the moment. Aaron Kitchen, quick time with a 12, 6, 1, 8. Carter Lawson, 11th quick. Chad Swartz. We'll go back to John Alatich here. We've also got Zach McSwain making his way out onto the racetrack. 12, 8, 1, 3. Here is the Beast Motorsports number 25 machine. Lap number one, starting of three. Of 
McSwain first lap time is 12.707. That puts him in eighth quick. Now he's going to come back out onto the racetrack, I believe. Maybe get one more lap in. He doesn't realize that uh, he gets three laps in here. But at the moment, there he goes, leaving pit road again. So two and a half minutes left in this qualifying session. And there is your top 15 on the screen in the field, separated by just three tenths of a second. And in dirt racing, that's not a whole lot of difference either when it comes to time. Aaron Kitchen, position number one with a 12.618. In fact, we're going to go down and chat with Aaron Kitchen here, providing... No, it's going to be Zach McSwain taking that time away with a 12.564. He is on the money, ladies and gentlemen. Zach McSwain in car number 25. And let's go down and chat to our driver that goes quick time here this evening in car number 25, Zach McSwain. Zach, first of all, congratulations on going quick time here this evening. Not a bad way to start. Uh, round number two of the Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Late Model Series here at Lima Land. Uh, it feels good. Uh, hopefully we can continue this on to the race. Well, we know you got some speed in that 25 machine. What's going to be the key in uh, getting through your heat race? And then, of course, what's going to be the main focus in this 50-lap main event later on tonight? No, hopefully we can just jump out the early lead in the heat race and get the win, start on the pole, and uh, lead the whole thing and get the win. Well, well done on quick time. Good luck in the heat. Good luck for the rest tonight. We'll let you get out of here. We'll, before we do, let you get out of here, of course. If we don't get a chance later on, uh, we'll let you thank some sponsors now while we've got the time. Yeah, I'd like to thank Extreme Motorsports for putting on this race, uh, Beast Motorsports, Delaware Racing Edge, and uh, y'all guys for putting on a great broadcast, as always. All right, good luck, Zach. We'll uh, hopefully chat with you later on tonight. Thank you. There we go, Zach McSwain there, the driver that goes quick time here this evening in cut of a 25. We'll chat to Aaron Kitchen right now, who was quick time until that last lap. Uh, we'll see if uh, Aaron has got a copy. Aaron, you got a copy? Yeah, Brett, I got you. Hey, bud. Well, second quick here tonight, uh, half a ten. Zach uh, happened to get you there at the the last lap of his qualifying effort, but uh, not a bad run from you. Uh, a 12.618, you got some good car speed in this number 17 car tonight. Yeah, the track reset a little bit and gave us a little more grip. Uh, F5 is really quick. I didn't know that was still out there, but uh, just see what we can do in a heat race. Hopefully we can maintain a position, get a outside uh, front row spot for the feature. All right, well, look, uh, we're going to get ready for heat race number one, so good luck for the rest of the night, and uh, hopefully we get to chat to you later on. Yeah, thank you, Brett. All right, there we go. Aaron Kitchen there in cut of a 17. Heat race number one. The cars are rolling onto the racetrack right now as we get set for the first of two heat races here this evening. Let's go trackside and take a look now at your Ultimate Dirt TV starting grid. Starting on pole, heat race number one of the Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Late Model, round number two here at the Lime Lane Motorsports Park. The guy that went quick time this evening, we just spoke to him just a few moments ago. He didn't cut up a 25 in the Beast Motorsports entry. It's going to be Zach McSwain. On his outside in the 08 machine, we'll see Calvin Herring start position number two. Inside, run number two out of position three, we'll see the 29 of Scott Dobbs line up alongside the 63 of Clifford Driscoll out of position at number four. Position five, we'll see last week's feature winner from the Volusia Speedway Park in Canada one, Eric Keller, line up out of position five, out of position at number six. We'll see the 13 car of Jordan Lutz. John Alatich in car number one will start position number seven. And on his outside in the 113 car out of position number eight, We'll be just and sick to make up this eight car field for heat number one. 12 laps of distance again. All cars going to make the show here tonight. Of course, the, these drivers are 20 of selected out of the 80 that had applied here to the Extreme Motorsports 99.com series. And of course, I think they've got the 20 best. And well, after last week's performance at the Volusia Speedway Park for the season over, what a great race that was where Eric Keller, who picked up the victory, 
in round number one. Can he go back to back here tonight? Well, it all starts right now with heat race number one. He will start from position number five. I want to go say good, big good day and big welcome to everybody out there in the Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch channels. We appreciate all the support here on Ultimate Dirt TV, and we hope you enjoy the coverage of the Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Late Models. This is round number two here this evening here from the Live Lane Motorsports Park. Post truck going to move to the infield this time, and it is going to be Zach McSwain and Calvin Herring on the front row. 12 laps the distance, round number two of your Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Late Model Series is green, and we are underway here at the Lamaland Motorsports Park. Driscoll looking to the outside, down into turns number three and four. Up on the inside of Scott Dobbs in the 29 machine. Scott Dobbs will hold on to position three. Drivers working the bottom and the middle of the racetrack at the moment. However, it is Zach McSwain who continues to lead after lap number two. Ten laps to run. Driscoll back there in position four. Then you go back to Eric Keller, last week's feature winner. Rounding out your top five, Jordan Lutz, John Alatich, and Justin Sick. Round out your eight car field. Alatich and Lutz going to go side by side down into one and two. Right now, Alatich continues to work the bottom side of the racetrack. This is your battle for sixth and seventh on the track, but Lutz going to continue to work the outside of the racetrack. Nearly contact. Alatich comes up and will take the line away going down into turn number one and two. You see Lutz getting a little out of shape there in the entry to turn number one. However, we go back up towards your top three right now, and Scott Dobbs feeling the pressure from Clifford Driscoll in the number 63 car, but also Scott Dobbs trying to put the pressure here on the 08 of Calvin Herring. Halfway stage of your race for heat race number one of the Extreme Motorsports 99 Pro Late Model round number two here at Limerland. It is Zach McSwain continuing to lead from Calvin Herring. Scott Dobbs in third. Clifford Driscoll fourth. You see the one car. That's Eric Keller again. Last week's feature winner trying to make something happen on the top side of the racetrack. Trying to get this track into where it's going to be multiple grooves at the moment. A lot of the drivers continuing to work that middle. The more times that these drivers circulate through the center of the turns. Well, the slicker it's going to get. And that's where the track is going to widen up right now. Dobbs once again putting the pressure on Herring, but starting to feel the pressure again from Clifford Driscoll. We continue to watch second, third, and fourth on your screens at the moment. Here comes Driscoll on the outside of Dobbs. That outside line really starting to come in right now. Here in the closing stages of heat race number one. One lap to go for your leader. McSwain continues to lead. He's, he's out by a good six car lengths at the moment. However, now the back straight away for the final time. And ladies and gentlemen, heat race number one. It's going to belong to Zach McSwain. Second, Mini Calvin Herring. Clifford Driscoll home in third. Scott Dobbs, Eric Keller round out your top five. John Alatich, Jordan Lutch, and Justin Sick complete heat race number one. Now we move into heat race number two. The Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Late Models. Here from the Lava Land Motorsports Park. Let's go trackside right now and take a look at your Ultimate Dirt TV starting grid. Seven cars in this one to complete the 15 car field here for round number two. Of the Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Late Models here from Lima Lane. Heat number two looks like this. Starting on pole, cut of a 17 of Aaron Kitchen. On his outside on the front row in cut of 18, it's going to be Jay Place. Starting inside the second row, cut of a 44 of Chad Swartz will start position three. And he's outside out of position four, the 224 of Andrew Hawkins. 
Running up inside row number three in cut number four, we'll see Frank Gonzalez start position five at a position six in cut number 23 will be Carter Lawson. Lining up position seven and the seventh and final starter in this one in cut number 14, it's going to be Brian Wax to round out the seven car field. Of course, a big thanks to Doug for the camera angles here from the Limelo Motorsports Park and bringing you all the sights here, the new angles that we see here on Ultimate Dirt TV. So, Doug, thank you so very much once again for your continued support here on Ultimate Dirt TV. And it's a pleasure to be working with you, sir. Let's go and get ready for heat race number two, Aaron Kitchen and Jay Blaze. We are green here for heat number two, and Kitchen got a good start. Place going to work back down the bottom side of the racetrack. Meanwhile, Hawkins and Lawson. Swartz there as well. That rounds out your top five. Then you go back to Gonzalez and Wax. In fact, Lawson back there in seventh position, but back up towards the front. We see the 44 of Swartz trying to work the bottom side of the racetrack. Didn't have a whole lot of luck there in the opening heat race of the night, but we'll see how these drivers adapt to the racetrack. As here comes the 4D car. That's Frank Gonzalez. Oh, no, Hawkins and Wax around. Now, there's no yellows in the heat races, so unfortunately for these two drivers, they're going to have to just keep it going and sit at the back of the field. And that's going to be a long way forward in tonight's 50 lap main event. We come back up towards second and third. Jay Place holding under position to Chad Swartz sitting in third. And then you got the 4D car of Frank Gonzalez right now. Sitting back there in position number four. In fact, let's go on board with Frank Gonzalez right now and take a lap around the Limeland Motorsports Park and you can see the battle that is happening in front between Jay Place and Ch uh, Chad Swartz. And see how comes Gonzalez. In fact, now we are going to go on the back here of the number 44 car, Chad Swartz. You can really see that the four car really starting to motor along on the top side of the range track slowly but surely. Starting to creep in to the screen here of the 44 machine. However, Aaron Kitchen really starting to muster along some good lap times right now. 12.9s at the moment. Fastest lap time is a 12.720. Couple of tenths off from what we've seen in heat race number one. And what we've seen in uh, qualifying as well. Here is Aaron Kitchen. You just see how much of a distance he has got over the rest of the field. And that's, there it is right there. Well, we've got a good battle going on for third right now. Couple of laps to go this time by. Past the start finish line here on the front straightaway. Aaron Kitchen continues to lead from Jay Place. Chad Swartz in third and Frank Goles sitting back here in position four. Ready at your top five, Carter Lawson. Then you go back to Brian Wax and Andrew Hawkins. Final lap, final time, heat number one into turns three and out of turn four. It's going to be Aaron Kitchen with the win. Second going to be Jay Place, Chad Swart home in third. Frank Gonzalez home in fourth. We see the drivers fifth, sixth and seventh coming through. Carter Lawson leads Brian Wax home in sixth and Andrew Hawkins home in position number seven. That is two heat races completed. And now we have a five minute, five minute warm up session. We'll get the drivers out onto the racetrack and we might get to chat to some of these drivers here in just a few moments time while they're getting out and turning some laps here at the Limelay Motorsports Park of course this is round number two of your Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Late Model Series Eric Keller picked up the win last week at the Volusia Speedway Park and let's chat to some of the drivers here this see we'll chat to Justin Sick. This driver is on the racetrack at the moment and doing some lap times in the 113 car. It's going to be Justin Sick. Justin, first of all, a bit of a rough heat race for you, but... You're going to be starting in the mid-pack of this race. Uh, what's going to be the main focus in picking up uh, or trying to get forward in tonight's main event? Uh, I think patience. 
is going to be uh, my strategy right now. During both those heat races, the middle side looked to be the fastest way around. Seeing as though you're on track right now, I mean, what what's your take on the racetrack? Where are you going to be in this main event later on, or you don't want to kind of give that away just yet? Uh, I really don't want to say, because I really don't know, but I'm thinking if I was to choose, I'm saying probably the bottom. All right, well, good luck in the 15-lap main event uh, coming up here in about three minutes' time. We'll let you get out of here, get to uh, getting some more practice laps in, and uh, hopefully we get to chat to you later on. If we don't get to chat to later on, we'll give you the opportunity now just to thank a couple of people on that race car and maybe give a few shout-outs as well. Right on, man. All right, Justin Sick there in the 113 car. We'll maybe chat to a couple of other of these drivers. When we get to chat to. Let's chat to Clifford Driscoll in the number 63 car. Quickest in practice at the moment, and we'll see how he's planning to attack this Lime Lane Motorsports Park in car number 63 with Clifford Driscoll. Clifford, uh, welcome into the Ultimate Dirt TV booth. You're going to be starting in about the fourth row or third row, I believe, here in the main event tonight. Uh, you got some good cars, speed. What are you making of the track so far? Uh, it's finally starting to slick off here. Uh, they reset it before qualifying, so uh, that made it a little bit different. But um, I'm glad it's starting to get a little slick spot here. Mickey, you have to really hit your line well, control the throttle. Ought to be a good race. Do you have a preferred line at the moment? I mean, uh, during the uh, during the heat races, it looked like the middle place was the fastest uh, fastest way around here. Generally, I've seen races won here on the top side, but also uh, I think the bottom side is really starting to come back in. Have you got a have you got a, a plan on what the, you think the track's going to do? Or I mean, what are you what are you making of the track, or where do you think the fastest way around here is going to be? Well. Uh looks like i'm going to be starting on the inside here in the feature so i'm going to try and work that um i think somewhere towards the uh towards the middle of the race it ought to start moving up so with any luck i'll have the opportunity to jump up there but for now i think i'm probably just gonna to have to work the bottom here at the beginning all right well look we'll uh let you go back out there and you got about a minute left uh if we don't get to chat to you later on good luck uh but uh you got any sponsors shout outs on this race car that you want to give to and um just in case you don't have the opportunity later on Oh, heck yeah. I'd like to thank uh, Extreme Motorsports 99 for putting this on, first of all. Uh, this is a first-class run event, so I appreciate them doing that. Uh, 3D Racing Boys, uh, we do our best out here. Uh, try and put on a good show for you guys. Ken Skins, uh, Ken Roos, he paints all of our uh, all of our cars. So big shout-out to him as well. So we'll see if we can put on a good show for you guys. All right, there we go. Clifford Driscoll there, who is quickest in the practice at the moment. But, of course, that doesn't mean squat when it comes to the main event. Uh, later on, and well, we've got about a minute. Oh, in fact, we've got about 30 seconds left in this one. So, guys, if you haven't done so, ready, head over to the Extreme Motorsports 99.com Facebook page. Give them a like, give them a follow, keep up to date with what they've got coming on. They've got plenty of asphalt ra road racing stuff, and of course, their dirt series. And of course, we want to thank the guys, Jacob Lee, and Rick, and everybody behind the scenes that made all this possible to allow Ultimate Dirt TV to cover the action here for the Pro Late Models. Uh, they had Originally, you're going to about nearly 80 drivers apply to run here on a Thursday night. And, of course, they pick their what they think is going to be the top 20 drivers. And, of course, after last week where Eric Keller picked up the win at the Volusia Speedway Park here at the Lima Lane Motorsports Park, of course, a totally different racetrack tonight. I'm excited to see what these drivers can do. Your main event is about to start for the Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Late Models round number two. Let's go trackside and take a look now at your Ultimate Dirt TV starting grid. Your 15 cars and 15 starters look like this. Starting on pole in the Beast Motorsports number 25 machine, it's going to be Zach McSwain. On his outside in car number 17, Aaron Kitchen will start position 2. Starting inside second row, position 3, we'll see the 08 of Calvin Herring line up alongside car number 18 of Jay Place out of position number 4. Lining up inside the third row, position 5, we'll see Clifford Driscoll line up alongside the 44 of Chad Swartz, who starts position number 6. 
Starting position 7, caliber 29 of Scott Dobbs. He lines up alongside caliber 4 of Frank Gonzalez out of position number 8. Position number nine, we'll see round number one winner Eric Keller in caliber one. Start position nine on the inside of the fifth row. On his outside, caliber 23 of Carter Lawson out of position number 10. John Alatich, caliber one, will start position 11. Brian Wax in caliber 14 will start position 12. We go back to the 13th starting spot, caliber 13 of Jordan Lutz. On his outside, the 224 of Andrew Hawkins out of position 14. And your 15th and final starter in car 113. We'll see Justin Sick round out this 15 car field. And you can see already the entry into turns 1 and 3. Where the pace truck and where the cars are rolling through right now. It is getting very slick there. So we'll see the drivers especially work that outside groove. And who knows, that bottom side might just come in. We get set to go green off of turn number four. 50 laps the distance. Around number two, your Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Late Model Series is green here from Lima Land. McSwain Kitchen worked the outside of the racetrack. Calvin Herring, he's starting to work the bottom side along with the 63 of Clifford Driscoll. Driscoll down low. Jay Place up top. Calvin Herring down low. Looks for second on the exit of turn number two and down the back straight away. Herring will continue to move into second spot. However, Aaron Kitchen not going to give it up that easy right now. Drivers really working low, really working high. This track is mint right now. Kitchen right through the middle. Your leader, McSwain, up top. Oh, boy, it is on. Jay Place trying to work the outside, trying to build that cushion up. But, boys, we got 50 laps on the board, and they are racing like it's the last 10. Four laps in here, out of 50. We start lap number five, still 46 to run, nearly three wide. There it is, three wide. How about Clifford Driscoll in the 63? He picks up two for one in the two turns, in the turns three and four. Oh, the 63 is a rolling right now. Oh, no, car into the wall. That was Jay Place. There was a bit of contact there with Calvin Herring, but for the moment, we stay green and... They are still circulating on the racetrack. Jay Place getting shuffled back a couple of positions. But Kitchen now working the bottom side of the racetrack following Driscoll. Driscoll and now look at Calvin Herring trying to work the outside again. The bottom side looks like the fastest way around this Lima Land Motorsports Park. You see a couple of drivers working the top side. Calvin Herring right upstairs along with Frank Gonzalez trying to bring this cushion in. However, with the latest update, who knows on what the track is going to do right now. Here goes Kitch and he's trying to hold on to position 3. Scott Dobbs in the 29 car. He has now moved his way to position 3 and that's courtesy of running that bottom side of the racetrack. Man, Kitchen is real close. 10 down 50, uh, 10 down 40 to run in this 50 lap main event. Look at these drivers spread out all over the racetrack. How good is this? You could not ask for a better bunch of drivers at the moment. The racetrack is sublime right now. Frank Gonzalez in the four car. That will bring out the caution flag for the first time this evening. And boy, oh boy, it's taken 12 fast and furious laps. Let's take a look at your Wicked Cushion instant replay. Of course, Frank Gonzalez in the number four car. We'll get to take a look here as Jay Place just behind him. So we're on board with the four of Frank Gonzalez. Just got a little too sideways in the Mud Duck Racing number four entry. Look like a bit of a racing deal. You see Frank Gonzalez again, just way out of shape on the entry into turns one. Of course, place uh, nowhere to go on that exchange. As we come back to live pictures here from the Lima Land Motorsports Park, we are going back green here. 
for round number two, 15 down and 35 to run. Again, a double file restart, so that's going to make the drivers work very hard here on the opening couple of laps to sort themselves out. As they're three wide right now, down into turns one and two, nearly four wide. Alistair trying to make it four wide, but he's got nowhere to go at the moment. They, they go back out in two by two. And there was a lot of good action all over this racetrack. Meanwhile, Scott Dobbs on the inside of Clifford Driscoll. Driscoll, he's gone to the top shelf now in one and two. He'll do the same in three and four. So really starting to keep the momentum up in the number 63 car. He's gotten by, he's gotten back by Scott Dobbs. And now McSwain, he is very undecided on where he wants to go. He's running top, he's running bottom, he's running middle. He is trying to make that number 25 car as wide as possible. And boy, oh boy, we are in for an absolute belter. 31 laps to go. Make that 30. We get dirty for 30 here. As we've just completed lap number 20. Meanwhile, we keep an eye on your second, third, and fourth place battle between Scott Dobbs, Clifford Driscoll, and Aaron Kitchen. Nearly three wide into turns number three and four. They're still too wide for third. Kitchen nowhere to go at the moment. He's on the top side. He's got Driscoll. Driscoll back down to the bottom side. And this might be the opportunity right now for Aaron Kitchen. Driscoll might try to make the move there on McSwain. Here he goes. Kitchen slide jump into turn number one and two. Driscoll gets into the back of him. Oh, that was a perfect slide jump. And Driscoll right back through the middle. Dobbs on the bottom side. Kitchen upstairs once again. Kitchen had made it known to the drivers that he was not mucking around tonight. He's here to pick up the win in round number two. The Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Late Model Series here at Limerland. And although I think Zach McSwain might have something to say about that. Because McSwain, he is looking for the sweep here tonight. Looking for a clean sweep and a clean set of heels. Picking up qualifying, picking up heat race number one victory. And now looking to pick up your 50 lap main event. This battle for second, third and fourth right now is an absolute bell ringer. 24 laps to go. That time bypass the start finish line into turn number one. Chad Swartz slowly starting to catch up to these top four drivers. Chad Swartz sitting back there. In position 5, Calvin Herring leading a field of John Alitich, Eric Keller, Jay Plates, Andrew Hawkins who round out your top 10. And i got to say right now, oh boy, these drivers are still putting on a show. How about Scott Dobbs continuing to work the bottom side of the racetrack. Holding down and making sure that 29 ain't going anywhere. He's about, he's about back up in second. A mistake from Kitchen there in turns 1 and 2. And Driscoll really had to get off the throttle. You see the 23, Carter Lawson. Pulling the 23 back on pit road. That's going to be his night done and dusted. Twenty laps to go this time by. We've just had 30 completed and just the one caution so far. What a phenomenal job! Each and every one of these 15 drivers have been able to put on an absolute spectacle here. And Chad Swartz now starting to close in on the number 63 car. This track is starting to really slick it off, especially on the entry into the turns. Yellow, yellow, yellow. And we're not sure what that one's for. Nonetheless, this is our second caution, and we are just going to complete lap number 30. So, I mean, by the time we go back green, we'll be on about lap number 36. It's still... We've still seen 30, or close to 30, green flag laps. Big Z, thank you very much for the host, brother. I appreciate it. Hope the stream was good. Just a couple of more days, Bigs. Just a couple of more days. And then you're on holidays. We get to party like it's 2019, baby. Again, you are watching the Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Late Model Series here from the Limeland Motorsports Park. The drivers are being given the Wonder Green signal. We will have 35 completed, 15 laps to go. Oh, just tonight. Nice. Nice, Gary. Well, let's get, let's get you through that 8 or 10 or 12 hour shift. And then let's get to party. Here we go. 15 laps left on the bottom. No, Aaron Kitchen. Driscoll. Scott Dobbs. 
Your top three. Oh boy, what has happened here? Oh no. Oh, this is heartbreaking for these three drivers. They put on an absolute clinic here for the last 20 odd laps. Dreskel just coming down the racetrack a little bit. And you see the 17, the 63, and the 29 all get a piece of that one. So that's going to put a different top three on this restart. And man, boy, oh boy. Drama late in this one. So another quick caution here. And that's just the way the cooking crumbles. So we are back live here from the Lima Lane Motorsports Park. Now I wonder if we are going to go back to single file restarts, of course. This single file restart uh, at the admin's discretion. So it looks like we are staying into rows of 2x2, two two, the pace truck in. So we lose 3 laps out of that one. So 12 laps left to run. In fact, they are not going to go green. They are not going green. The pace truck has been... Brought back out onto the circuit. Of course, race control just deeming who's at fault for that one. So they've made it known to the drivers that if uh, the drivers get the one to green signal, they will delay it to make sure that the correct call is made. And that's exactly what we've seen just now. The pace truck still out onto the circuit. And there is your iRacing.com official pace truck. The lights have turned off. So there's a good chance that we are going green flag racing this time by. And... We're going to have 10 to run. Let's see if the pace truck moves to the infield. The driver's keeping a slow, steady pace. There goes the pace truck. Pace truck not coming back out, it doesn't seem. So it looks like we are going to go green flag racing. Green flag. 10 laps to go. Zach McSwain now. He's got a commanding lead. And he's got a good commanding jump, I should say. Oh, no, Schwartz. And that's the one car of Keller. Oh, yellow, yellow, yellow. Eric Keller in the one. Just gets into the back of Schwartz. And let's go back right now and take a look here at your Wicked Cushion instant replay. Keller just getting into the left rear quarter panel there of... Swartz here and we'll be able to see here on your Wicked Cushion Instant Replay and your onboard cameras thanks to Black Diamond Motorsports. And it happens so very, very quickly. There it is and unfortunately some of the other drivers coming through there. So we're going to come back to your live pictures here from Lime Lane Motorsports Park. Again, we'll just recap your running order for the time being. It is Zach McSwain who leads J Place. Lights are out on the pace truck. We might be going green. Second row, Aaron Kitchen, Andrew Hawkins. Justin Sick from position 15th up to position 5. Then you go back to Frank Gonzalez who restarts in position 6. The Pace truck is back out onto the circuit, I believe. Yes, there it is. So we'll go back to 7th, Clifford Driscoll and Brian Wax in row 4. Row 5 is going to be Chad Swartz, Eric Keller. And we've got Carter Lawson and John Alatich. Both those drivers are lapped down. Calvin Herring already calling it a night as well. I'm going to catch up to the pace truck, and I believe we're going green flag this time by, which is going to leave us with four laps left to run. But Ken McSwain, can he hang on for the clean sweep here tonight? Pace truck in, four to run. Green flag is out. We're underway here in the main event of round number two of the Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Late Models. Look at Aaron Kitchen work his way back up to position number three. He's now looking for second. Andrew Hawkins gets shuffled back to position four. And Kitchen has got a free run on the top side of the racetrack. But he's a little bit of a distance away. Time might be starting to run out for the number 17 car. Can he make something happen towards 
Jay Place, he pulls up alongside Jay Place. Two laps to go. McSwain needs to be careful here because if he gives up the top side like he does in one and two, he might just not have an opportunity to make the crossover in turns three and four. White flag is out. Final time. Zach McSwain leads down the back straight away. Into turns number three and four, ladies and gentlemen. Round number two belongs to Zach McSwain. Second, going to see Aaron Kitchen come home. And third, and rounding out your podium here this evening in caliber 18, is going to be Jay Place. We'll take a look here at your unofficial JR Productions and Media Results. So getting the win here tonight in caliber 25, going to be Zach McSwain, Aaron Kitchen, home in second, Jay Place in third. We'll tap to those drivers in just a few moments, time post-race. Andrew Hawkins coming home in position four with Justin Sick. After starting position 15, we'll come home with a 10, or with a 10 plus spot and coming home in position at number five. Clifford Driscoll, who we've seen involved in the incident there late in this race after running inside of your top three, will come home position six, Brian Wax. In seventh, Eric Keller will come home in position number eight. Ninth is going to be Frank Gonzalez and Chad Swartz will round out your top ten. Over the page, 11th through to 15th, looks like this. Carter Lawson lap down. John Allatinch a couple of laps down in 12th. 13th is Scott Dobbs. Calvin Herring in 14th and Jordan Lutz home in position number 15. 16, 17 and 18. We want to thank those guys for being race control here this evening. And well, we're going to get a chance to chat to our top three here in just a moment. We'll go down trackside and chat with Zach McSwain, Aaron Kitchen, and of course, Jay Place as well. So we're going to start from third place this evening and coming home in that third spot tonight in Caliber 18, it's going to be Jay Place. Jay, congratulations on a third place run here tonight. You got a little bit lucky late in that race, but uh, you were good enough there to hang on at the end and uh, third place, it's a pretty good, uh, it's a good result for you and the team. Yeah, thank you, man. Uh, we were digging at the end. I just got a little too excited at the end. Pulled up up beside Zach, but... It is what it is. Uh, good win, Zach. And good second place, Aaron. What was the game plan going into this feature event? Because the, the track wasn't as slick as what it was, and it really started to slicken off uh, late in this race. I mean, where, what was going to be the game plan for you? I mean, where were you going to be happy uh, with tonight after this 50-lap main event finished? Yeah, man, tonight was all about patience. I mean, if you had patience and stuff, you were going to do good, and... I mean, we fell back a lot, and I thought that was going to be the end of it, but, I mean, we just made it all the way back up the field somehow. <laughs> well, you come away with the third-place run here tonight at the Lamele Motorsports Park. You certainly put the pressure on Zach there towards those last final four laps, but uh, unable to do, it, do anything with that one, so congratulations on this third-place run. Uh, we'll throw the mic back to you, throw, uh, thank some sponsors, maybe give some shout-outs as well while we've got you on air, Jay. Oh, yeah, buddy. Um, I would like to thank my team, Ignition, um, JP, uh, Wall Tap Designs for the sick paint I got on. Um, uh, it's all I can think of right now, but <laughs> thank you, everybody. All right, there we go. Jay Place there, home in third place tonight, and home in second place tonight. And boy, he left nothing. He threw everything, including the kitchen sink. It is none other than the 17 of Aaron Kitchen. Aaron, uh, congratulations. Second place run here tonight. Man, what a heck of a, a race you had here tonight. There was uh, two cars inside of you, outside of you, uh, pretty much from the get-go. And then a, a little bit of a late incident there uh, with about, I think it was 12 to go. But uh, you managed to rally from the back of the field to come back up to, to second spot. Talk about your run. Yeah, it was a good time. I feel like I definitely had a car that could win. But uh, before we talk about that, I I want to apologize to Rick and Jacob. Uh, I don't have my sponsor decals on the car. I had a lot of issues with my Oculus and my computer not recognizing the HDMI uh, connection before I came on. And I did not have any time to put the labels, the Extreme Dirt labels on the car. So I want to apologize to them for that first. 
because uh, they do a uh, lot of great stuff for us, putting this league on for us. And uh, I just want to say sorry for not having the decals on the car tonight. All right, let's go towards the race now. There was a, that opening sort of 30 laps. There was a lot of green flag run, I think, after lap 36 when you go, go back to green after the second caution. I mean, 30 laps around Limeland Motorsports Park. That just goes a testament to uh, the drivers that are in this league at the moment and that we see here uh, on a weekly basis. These guys, you know, they know how to give respect and, and take respect as well. So uh, 30 laps in that first one, a couple of late cautions there towards the end. But you guys managed to finish under green. Uh, again, talk about three race, uh, those first opening couple of laps. And, of course, talk about that incident from your perspective. Yeah, you know, once you get one caution, it kind of breeds more cautions, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, it was a long green run. The uh, track was coming in nice. You could run the bottom. You could run the top. I mean, you really had to get up there and get on the wheel. I love this track. It's probably my favorite on the game because you just got to get up on the wheel and absolutely drive the drive the heck out of thing. But uh, I want to say congrats to Zach on the win. And, yeah, the incident, you know, <sighs> I felt like I was where I was supposed to be, and all of a sudden, I just got hooked. And uh, it's kind of the same thing that happened last week, unfortunately. I was riding around, and all of a sudden, I was sideways. It's just bad luck two weeks in a row, but try again next week, and uh, at least I came in second, I reckon. All right, talk about your mentality going into the final four laps of this one. You were starting a position for, uh, did you think you had a chance at you know, picking up this win, and what was going to be the, those final four lap strategy? No, I knew I didn't have a chance to win. My car was too, uh, just had too much damage. I thought maybe third would be good. So to get second is actually pretty thrilled with that. Uh, the track was pretty used up and I didn't, I, I knew my car just wasn't the same once I got turned into the wall there on the restart. So I just thought, well, maybe get a top three and it ended up working out. So good points tonight and uh, just try again next week. Well, congratulations on this second place run here tonight at the Limele Motorsports Park for the Extreme Motorsports 99.com Pro Late Model Series. Uh, congratulations, we'll let you get out of here, of course. But before we do, uh, sponsors, shout out all that good stuff, buddy. Who makes it happen for you? Yeah, absolutely. I want to thank Rick and uh, Jacob at Extreme Motorsports 99 for putting this on. Like I said, I apologize for no decals tonight. Uh, I'll definitely get that fixed before next week. It's just the uh, technical issues had me scrambling to even make the race tonight. Uh, I want to say thanks to my wife, Callie, for letting me get on here and mess around. My dad, I don't know if he's watching or not tonight. Oh, he's watching. You know he's watching. Is he? Is he? Oh, awesome. Good. Uh, he, he got a good show tonight. Uh, wish I could have got the win for him, but that's all right. Uh, thanks to John Likens at Double A Moving. He's making moves. And uh, Seth Leitner at Precision, Mobile Auto Detailing, and Pressure Washing. Man, those guys are awesome. All right, there we go. That is Aaron Kitchen, their home in second place. You can see the damage on the front of that race car as well, but he uh, manages to come away with a second place. We'll chat to our winner here tonight and first win of the season. Well, he's making certainly making a, a regular appearance here in the Ultimate Dirt TV uh, podium booth, but uh, congratulations goes to Zach McSwain. Zach, first of all, congratulations, 50 lap flag, or well, not flag to flag, but you lead all 50 laps and that completes the sweep here at Lyman, and you've got to be pretty pumped about that one. Yeah, feels good. Uh... That's well, pretty good here now. I love this racetrack. It's uh, very racy, top to bottom. So uh, I was able to stay down there on that bottom early and then get up there on the top when the bottom kind of went away a little bit. But I didn't really know where to run. I was just seeing where they were running behind me, and then I didn't want to see all those cautions. So I got going there for a minute, but uh, it was a good race. You certainly had the field covered there uh, during that 25-odd green flag lap run there you had, uh, that you guys had at the start. And uh, something I want to sort of touch on as well is something you just said. You, you, know, you were moving around. You didn't know where to run. Uh, obviously, that is a little bit of a disadvantage knowing that, you know, when you're out in front, you don't know where to run because you don't know where the fastest line is. Uh, of course, you know, you, you're trying to focus on, you know, trying to hit your marks each and, uh, each and every lap. Uh, do you kind of look at your relative or look in the mirror here to, to see where those guys are running or do you sort of just worry about your own race and if they come, they come and then you, know, and then you can adapt and, and change your line if need be? Yeah, I watched the relatives. Uh, I was running that top there and they seemed to be pretty good on the bottom, but they just couldn't, couldn't pull up off the corner of the top. You could just hear the momentum, so I just stuck with that up there. And uh, late there, that top, Kind of went away that on uh in turn one and two, so I was just kind of running the slider line, 
there in uh, top three and four, and it seemed like it was the fastest line. All right, we had the couple of late cautions there towards the end. I think there was about three there in the space of a couple of laps. But, uh, final four laps, when you're coming down the back straight away, uh, you know, you got the field behind you. Every, every one of these drivers, they're hungry for a victory. Uh, you're the car that controls the pace. What goes through your mind into turns three and four with just four laps to go here? I just try to get a good restart and uh, through one and two without getting run over from behind and uh, just hit my marks and pull away from them. Well, you did that. You went to the bottom in one and two, and as you said, you run on sort of a little bit of a slider line, and then you went to the top uh, in three and four. So you certainly took every opportunity away from those drivers to to potentially make that pass. But you had you did what you had to do. So uh, congratulations here on the sweep here at the Lima Lee Motorsports Park. We'll let you get out of here, of course. But before we do, we'll hand the mark back to your sponsor. Shout out to all that all that good stuff, buddy. Who makes the wheels turn on the twenty five machine? Yeah, I'd like to thank Beast Motorsports, all my team guys, uh, Delaware Racing Edge. Uh, I'd like to thank Extreme Motorsports for putting on a good race. Uh, Howard Barlow, he's uh, over our team. He helps me a ton. Uh, thank you all for putting on a broadcast, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. Indeed, you will. We'll see you there later on. Of course, round number three next week. So, of course, a big congratulations goes to your top three, Zach McSwain, Aaron Kitchen, and Jay Place. Of course, before we get out of here, of course, we want to give a massive shout out to the guys here at Extreme Motorsports 99 for, for putting on these shows on a weekly basis. Of course, you can catch all the action right here live every Thursday night right here on Ultimate Dirt TV. We're, of course, going to be live across Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch as we are tonight. And, of course, it'll be all updated on our website as well. Of course, don't forget to head over to our website. Head over to www.ultimatedirttv.com. You can keep up to date with what we've got going on throughout the week in regards to broadcasting. Our next broadcast is going to be Sunday night. Again, we'll have the World of Thunder triple headers, super late models, UMP modifieds, and 410 wing sprint cars. And plenty of action throughout the next week, of course, right here on Ultimate Dirt TV. Of course, a massive thanks to our sponsors here at Ultimate Dirt TV as well. A big thanks to Wicked Cushion, One Nine Designs, World of Thunder R Racing League, iCore Leagues, JR Productions and Media, and Black Diamond Motorsports. Of course, a big thanks to Extreme Motorsports 99.com as well. Make sure you head over to their website and, of course, head over to their Facebook page to give them a like and a follow. That'll wrap things up here from the Lamalier Motorsports Park. Round number two belongs to Zach McSwain. And on behalf of the team here at Ultimate Dirt TV and the management behind the scenes, we thank you very much for tuning in here on this Thursday evening. My name is Brett Wheeler. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, good night.